YouTube in the classroom can be a, a, a contentious issue. Uh, mainly they center around the concerns about uh, kind of like the extraneous visuals surrounding the chosen video. So for example, on this video, we have a variety of videos shown down the side. Now some of those might be related to the person who's created the video you're watching. So for example, here um, and here, also here, it's showing you ones that are supposed to be related, but it's going to show you items here, here, and down here that you may you might not be expecting. And even if you've made sure when you've uploaded the video, if you're the creator and you've clicked off on certain categories, still sometimes because of people not properly tagging their videos, when the search comes up, they're posted alongside. Also, sometimes there can be content in the description of the video that is not appropriate or there's comments below which sometimes might not be appropriate and you don't want students focusing on. You want them to focus on the content of the video that you've chosen to show. So one of the things that some people do is they go and they try to take the embed code and add that to their classroom website and they try to enable some of the modes that help strip out some of the content from showing up but often at the end of these videos unless you go in and, and you know how to edit the code um, itself to eliminate certain features um, at the end of the video you'll get a grid view of again related playlists or items that it tends to suggest which again might show images that are inappropriate not that the video you're showing is so that can be can be for the average teacher a more cumbersome process and what you can do and I came across this website um, quite tube and I'll show you here just by clicking on the tab this is basically what you see when you come to the site and it gives a brief description of what to do but basically it's this you take you make sure that you when you your favorite bar is showing so if it's not just go up to the title area click and then click on favorites bar then take this icon quiet tube drag it up to the favorite bar and let go so I just went left click and I'm dragging letting go it says do you want to add this bookmarklet and I'm going to click yes and now we have the name of the website showing here now what we can do is I'm going to go to the video that I want to play and I click on this bookmarklet it's going to reload the window and it's now showing the video it's with the exception of this one ad that advertises for Google it's showing you uh, a stripped out version of the video so there's no, none of that extraneous material around it you can actually choose between a white and a black background you can go full screen and you can play your video and when you come back from full screen you're still in the stripped out version so again that might be an option for some teachers you know you're always checking your video ahead of time to make sure the content is okay and it's the actual video that you want to watch the entire way through that hasn't been edited or modified by someone but again this might be a, a quick and easy option um, and again if once I close my browser open it back up again that's always going to be there so you just go to the page click on it and hopefully have a good YouTube experience in the classroom